you see the when you see the signs for the squares for the veterans, right? These are the real Boston Patriots. You know, you're a football team, but they named after these these guys. These are the real New England Boston Patriots. And our brother George was the best kid in the world. Best kid in the world. Gave his life. He gave his life. He actually gave his life for his friend. He was on the Tet Offensive, 1968, February 2nd, and. Uh, he was a squad leader of a five-man recon patrol, reconnaissance patrol, and uh, they were ambushed by a, a large enemy force. And uh, during the initial burst of fire, the medic was um, was wounded, and George, being the squad leader, positioned the other three men and himself. And and George said, "I'm going." The medic was 35, 40 yards away, and George um, t told the um, the other soldiers that. That he was going to go get him, still cover me. He said, "Cover me." But just as he was running to, towards the the medic, the the enemy force, they all they all zeroed in on him and, and shot him. Yeah, George was George was always a, a uh, great brother. I mean, you know, you know we, 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 they call Irish twins. You know, he was 11 months older than, older than me, you know, so we were very close. But. He, worked, he worked at the gas station over here, and he built his own, uh, his own hot rod, uh, 55 Chevy. And uh, I think that was uh, probably the love of his life, was, the, uh, was building uh, hot rods and cars. He liked cars, and he liked girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he did. Yeah. I go to a different neighborhood, and I, and I see it. A sign on a square. I'll Google the name and say, "Who was this actually?" You know, and find out who he was, and it's like, "Wow!" You know, "Wow!" And it's, just, it's an appreciation because they give, they, they're giving their life. The, the mother and father are devastated. They're, they're giving their son's life, uh, daughters. Sometimes it's uh, it has to be appreciated. You know?